But yeah, I don't I, know if you don't mind changing subject. No, I'm okay. So I wanted to ask you, Joe. You're obviously a landlord, which is a bit of a dirty word these days. <laughs> People don't seem to like them. Yeah, that's why uh, you turn the camera off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but as, as two young fellas, you know, fuck all about the property sector and oil, the side from it's very hard to buy a house when you're on or when you're in a relationship and even harder when you're on your own. What's some things that are like misconstrued about the property sex, sector in Ireland and like what's going on at the moment? Why is it in the predicament that it's in? Smashing question, by the way. Um, so this is like fact, right? So landlords are viewed as the enemy. Mm -hmm. There's a shortage of houses, right? The way I just relate to that is, let's imagine there's a famine, there's a shortage of food, and all of a sudden everybody hates the farmers that's still producing. Right? Yeah. There's much less landlords in the country now than what there ever was. And people are blaming the landlords on absolutely everything. Now, the few landlords that are left are getting blamed on everything, which is absolutely crazy, you know? And it shouldn't be that. What's happened is, if, if you go back there, and this is my kind of interpretation of what's happened, <laughs> Up to 2007, we had, the, like, we had the crash. An absolute abundance of oversupply. I think there was like 80,000 surplus units in the country at that stage. It might have been 50, I don't know. At that time, somebody needed to be held responsible. Bankers, developers, builders, they were all held responsible. So the, the political will to support a banker, uh, the banking industry, the construction industry, or the developers was gone. So mm -hmm. they just simply didn't want to be supported because look what they done. Mm -hmm. But the oversupply dwindled down, dwindled down, and it got to the point where there was no surplus supply, no excess surplus. Then there was no surplus. Then there was a shortage. Mm -hmm. And it still wasn't, there still wasn't the political will to support it because politicians don't care what's best. They care what's going to keep them in power. Yeah. And if they support something and the political will is not there, they'll just get voted out. And we had Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael running the country all the time of 2007 and even onwards, right? And you've just got Sinn Féin doing their absolute utmost to get into power. And all that Sinn Féin are doing is they're picking something and they're just attacking every move that the government makes with regard to that. So you can imagine fairly fresh after the crash if the finance minister come out and says we're um, announcing a package to incentivize builders to get mm -hmm. back into the market Sinn Féin went, look at them, look what they're doing, and they're going to do it again, you know? Mm -hmm. So the government was bringing in all these knee-jerk reactions to the opposition's, basically, tactics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the two things, well, the one main thing that 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 the left-wing governments have latched on, not the government, sorry, the left-wing parties, which is just pretty much Sinn Féin, is housing. So there's a million and one things wrong with the country, but they've latched on to that. So the government, whether they like to accept it or not, they keep making legislation in response to the the noise that the, the left wing wingers are making, you know? And while they're doing that, people like me are like, oh, Jesus, another piece of paperwork that I have to fill in now because of that. Another regulation. Oh, another fee for this. Yeah. Oh, nah, I'm not gonna buy that other house. You know, I'm not gonna buy that other house. I'm not gonna buy that other house. And not only that then, they're getting out of the market. So while they're getting out of the market, nobody else is getting back in. So there's no, shortage of houses there is a shortage of rental houses mm -hmm. and if you build a house i saw i seen something there the other day like they're just they're, they're playing an absolute stormer like when you if you look at Sinn Féin like they're, they're they're not saying yes to anything they're just criticizing the government you know so um and i don't really give a shit who's in power i mean i'm concerned about what they're gonna do because of what they said they're gonna do that's gonna be a problem and that's why i'm not expanding like so when somebody messages me and says, hey, your friend told me to give you a call, you're a landlord, can you give a shout and you get another house? Well, the reason why I ain't, why I ain't getting another house is because of what these guys are doing. So we're mm. not expanding in right, that space yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah. But what's happening is, um, I'm losing my train of thought there now. Um, yeah, I seen something there the other day where if you, if you build houses and you build them to rent, they're not available for homeowners. But mm. the problem, there's no shortage of houses for homeowners. There's a shortage of houses for rent. And some crowd built uh, a load of houses and somebody was going in. I think one company bought the whole lot of them. And Sinn Féin were on. The government need to stop them buying houses because them houses are going to be available to rent now. Ah, whatever amount of money. And it, yeah. was, it was fairly expensive. I can't remember what it said. It was, like, it was three grand a month. I was like, how the fuck's going to be able to pay right, three yeah, grand yeah. a month, right? But the state will fund that, most likely for somebody, right? So it's kind of becoming a social housing. But we've got a shortage. We've got a shortage of rental properties. And the only way to deal with that is to build more and they're not actually building more so let them buy more but when they buy more then they're putting them out of the uh, reach of the homeowners mm. you know so you've got two parts of the, the, yeah, the one yeah, thing yeah. 
um, like the cost that landlords are having to deal with is fucking crazy. Like right, they've, yeah. they've, there's taxes and levies and, you know, fines for this and that. You do anything wrong. It's very hard to stay straight down the middle nowadays, you know. And it's just an unattractive environment for people to get into. So most landlords will be 55 years or older now at this stage. Yeah. And they need to get out now because if they don't get out now, if and when Sinn Féin get in, the capital gains tax is going to be increased. So the 100 grand that they make today will be like making 50 grand in five years' time or three years or whatever. So they need to get out today and most of them are getting out. And all that the government are doing now is they're putting more and more restrictions on what an individual can do with the property that he's bought. Okay. Which means then the individual's like, oh, I'm not buying that. I'll, I'll go into commercial. I'll go into yeah, this. Yeah, I'll go yeah. into that, you know. Um, and it's making it worse. And I believe it's going to get a lot worse for the landlords before it gets better. I think like, there was so much opportunity in the property market in 2009, 10, 11, 12, when the receivers repossessed all the properties and they were selling them again. And you could buy properties for, for buttons, but it wasn't popular to be buying property then. But that's going to happen again in certain sectors because if Sinn Féin implement all the things that they've said they're going to implement there's going to be a massive crash. So um, I seen a video there a while ago, and I didn't believe it to be true until I'd done some research on it. Um, basically, Mary Lou MacDonald, and I don't really care, this is, this is as political as I get. Yeah, Mary yeah. Lou MacDonald, Pierce Doherty, and somebody else um, went in and had a meeting with PricewaterhouseCooper. They're one of the big four accountancy firms in the country. Apparently, PwC reached out to them and said, hey, looks like you guys are going to be in government next. I think we should be friends. They should, hmm. should know what's coming down the track, right? Let's all have a little sit in. Let's be friends. Let's get cozy, right? At the end of the meeting, PwC wrote out to all their clients advising them to sell off all their assets. Because, and you can check this out, because they've seen the proposals that Sinn Féin have for when they get into power. And uh, they're going to just destroy so much of the economy, like, you know? So for a, a, for a big, reputable firm like that, to say that, that's... That's crazy, you know? Yeah. And uh, if you look at what they're doing, like they only care about getting into power. Yeah. That's all. They have had no opinion um, or no sense of input or constructive um, input on COVID because, you know, is it a hoax? Is it genuine? It's who knows? We'll say nothing. Immigration, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? We don't know what way the public is going to go. We'll say nothing. So they don't have an opinion on that. They're just going to do whatever they need to do to get themselves into power, you know? So it's... Mm -hmm. There's worse things coming down the line, but it was it was all political will um, forced on them, forced on the existing government by the left because they're they were in the they were in the shits and the ratings based on what they what happened again. Like. The the crash wasn't just unique to Ireland or Europe; it was a worldwide thing. Yeah. So it was coming that way for for a long time, you know. So um, people need to understand that landlords are the solution. If you don't view a landlord as a solution like if you're if you're hungry and you can smell bread the baker is the solution to your hunger simple as that beautiful smell of bread out there oh, it was class wasn't it you know um so the, whoever's baking that bread is the solution to hunger so if you're looking for somewhere to live the solution to that is either the government giving you a free house which they ain't going to do that or a landlord buying a house and renting it to you you know mm -hmm. so it's a uh, it's the hot topic nowadays yeah you know? yeah um it's an easy way to get slated online. Say, Very, uh, landlord, and uh, you'll be, uh, you'll know all about yeah, it. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs>